This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome. Hi viewers. In this video of today, we will discuss how to write an algorithm to calculate distance covered by a car at an average speed of v m s minus one in time t. Basically, it is used for velocity meter per second. So we will call it a velocity. The v symbol is used to denote velocity, where the m s minus one or m over s meter per second is used to calculate the velocity of the formula this in time t means that the speed of the car is covered in time t. t is a symbol used to denote t and v is a symbol used to speed to denote speed. So the program should input average speed v. So v is used to denote speed in time t how far the car cover the distance in time t. So we need to calculate this by using the formula s is equal to v into t. So s is used for distance, v is for speed, and s symbol and t is symbol is used for time. Again I repeat s is used to denote the is symbol used to denote distance, v is symbol is used to denote speed and t symbol is used to denote time. But s is the distance travel. So we're gonna write an algorithm for this, first of all, we need to type step. The step number one is typing is procedure. We type it. Procedure. Started. So what kind of procedure is this? This is the procedure. Basically, algorithm is a design document which is used to give instructions how to write a program step by step because it is a collection of step by step instructions for writing a computer program. So the first step is the procedure because the algorithm itself is a procedure. So the first step we will write is the procedure is started. So the starting of an algorithm, we must write it, it is very important. The second step is take input of average speed as v and time as t. So we need to take the input of these two values and V is used to denote speed and T symbol is used to denote time. Yeah, these are very important. This is how we're gonna multiply these two values and we get the resultant multiplied value of this. This is how we can get this very simple formula is a multiplication formula in which we are gonna calculate the distance covered by a car by multiplying the speed into time t. The third step is calculate the value of S S means S is a symbol again, which is used to denote distance. We have used in the question that where S is the distance travel. So we're going to now calculate the distance by multiplying V into T. So we will calculate the value of S. S. I will type the formula. The formula is S is equal to V into t. So a multiplication will be performed with the right hand side. Speed will be multiplied with time. So this value will be assigned to the left hand side s which is used to represent distance. So this is how this is calculated very simple formula. Fifth step, fourth step is print. Print is keyword, statement, reserve word which is used to give the output. So we type print and we type s. So s is basically Again, this is the same as which is used to represent the distance. We need to display the output. Now, this has now the multiplied value of v into t. So, this as will be displaying the value of distance traveled by a car at an average speed of v 
e is equal to m this minus 1. So the last step which is very important again is to write this top that here we need to mention that the procedure is now stop stop the procedure this is how we can identify it or not this is the last step of the algorithm I'm going to interpret this for you interpretation line by line I will explain it to you and how all these lines are executed and all what is the meaning of each and every line First of all, we will type the first the first line is used to mention that the algorithm, the starting of an algorithm, the starting of the algorithm the second or you can cut type second line or second step the first step is used first step and I will type I will type the second step is used to take the input from the user of this algorithm and then store the values in V for speed and T for time. V and S are variables are named variables used to take the input and then store the values from the user. So these two variables will first take the input from the user and then will store the values in these variables. Third step is used to calculate the value of S by the formula by a simple multi equation formula. The formula is V into T. We'll type as equal V into the proper appropriate formula through which the distance will be calculated. And then the fifth step is used to by type in the fifth step print statement is used which is a keyword which is a reserved word used reserved word for displaying the output of the value now stored in the variable named S for distance traveled by the car. Now the last step, the fifth, sixth step is for stopping, stopping, closing, the algorithm, which is very important to write this way, one can, the user can easily identify that this is the finite last line or you can call it step of the algorithm and no more 
line, no more step, line, line or step will be added into it. So this is the whole interpretation of this very algorithm. We have discussed how to calculate the distance of a car traveled. This is how all these steps are mentioned. These are all technical lines because uh, the whenever we are writing an algorithm, we must write the specific language for it, like start, stop, print, input, calculate. So these are all very necessary important some technical language, but when we interpret it, then it simply write simple English to understand how this algorithm will work and will give the uh, uh, perform the calculation and give the uh, give us the output the required output accordingly. So that's all and thanks for watching. <laughs>